Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some more Hearthstone. It is finally time to do another pack opening. I've gotten up to 20 packs here. Once again, I have not spent any money on this game, at least recently. I, I just do my daily quests every day. I occasionally do an arena. Sometimes if I get up to 150 gold, I'll go ahead and I'll do an arena just for fun. I usually don't do very good, but I'll do an arena. I get some gold and some packs that way. And how it ended up working out for me is I ended up getting 10 packs of the classic cards and 10 packs of the goblins versus gnomes. So uh, there's certain things like a daily quest that which it's a pretty rare one but it's a very good one overall whereas if you watch a friend and you spectate your friend win a game you get a goblins versus gnomes pack actually no that actually might be a normal pack but i know if you do an arena that's a goblins versus gnomes pack hmm i'm not entirely sure which one it is but basically i've gotten it pretty even in terms of the packs here so i'm pretty excited to see what we're gonna get i love doing these pack opening videos you guys enjoy watching them and let's do it ladies and gentlemen we can do basically one of these a month because it does take a long time to get a bunch of packs uh, of course just by doing your daily quest every day and just playing and getting gold that way but still it's fun when we do get to do this every single month so let's go ahead and see what we get out here out of our first pack it's gonna be a common it's gonna be a rare it's gonna be two rares all right, so we got two rares in our very first pack. Let's see what we get here. So, a Blood Sail Raider. We get a Redemption for the Paladin. Secret. Uh, Inner Rage for Warrior. Great card. We get the Akanai Soul Priest. Okay, I don't believe I actually had any of these for my Priest. Which is pretty good, because that, of course, is a pretty key card in a lot of different Priest decks. So, that Priest definitely utilized that card pretty well. That's pretty awesome. I don't think I had that card yet. And we get a Misdirection for a Hunter. Ladies and gentlemen, first pack. Two rares in the first pack. Not too bad. Now, how do we want to do this? Do I want to open up all these in a row, or do I want to swap? I'm going to swap between them. We'll do it that way. Now let's go with Goblins vs. Gnomes. Let's see what we get here. Da, 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 da. I'm still using the Ragnaros card back because I love the way it looks. But there's a rare. Common. 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 All right. Four commons and a rare. What are we going to get? We're going to get a Crackle for a Shaman. Very good card. We're going to get uh, Velen's Chosen for a Priest. I'm not sure if I had those yet. I, I'm very unaware what my Priest cards are. Okay, now I have two Crackles. But I believe I already had two Crackles already. But uh, a Mech Warper, very key card in a lot of Mech decks. And... And a Target. Oh, come on. The Target Dummy. <laughs> Why is that even a rare? <laughs> it's... Uh, it's a 0-2 with Taunt for 0 mana. Ah. Ah, I don't think anybody's ever used that card ever. Well, regardless, let's go here into the normal packs again. Now, let's see here. We're going to get a common, a common, common, common. Ah, four commons and a rare. What are we doing here? Okay, Blood Imp. Love that card. I already have some, but I love that card. Uh, okay, two Blood Imps. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? Like, what, what would the RNG chances be if I got, like, four Blood Imps? Every common was a Blood Imp in this pack. Oh, I was really kind of hoping that would be a blood imp, just for the sake of it, you know. Uh, Tauren Warrior. Uh, I can seal for a rogue. I don't believe I had this yet. Uh, give your minions stealth until next turn. That's kind of neat. And for our rare card, we get a light well for the priest. But uh, yeah, two blood imps. Look at that. All right, so where are we at now? We're back towards the goblin versus gnomes pack. We got we got to do this. We got to mess around with it a little bit. You got to do a little bit of a glitchy here. Yeah, see how it's stuck up there? Yes. Yes, that's going to equal legendary, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to equal a legendary. So, dun-dun-dun, 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 dun-dun-dun. Okay, we got two rares. We got two rares. It wasn't just going to be four commons in a rare. We got two rares in this one, so I'm happy. Uh, Piloted Shredder, great card. I actually crafted my Piloted Shredders because I wanted them so badly I didn't want to wait. Uh, I wish I would have waited. <laughs> Velen's Chosen, we get that again. Uh, we get Nomergon Infantry, which is an interesting card. It's a card with charge and taunt. That's a 1-4, so not usually the best stat line. Ooh, a golden rare, golden vitality totem for the shaman. All right, that's awesome looking. I like that. At the end of your turn, restore 4 health to your hero. That card's pretty cool. I've been experimenting with a shaman deck that involves totems. I'm not going to spoil too much about it, but I may be doing a video on that in the future. It's either a really fun deck or it's a really bad deck, but it's, I guess I'll spoil it. It's essentially a deck where I have literally no minions in the deck whatsoever. I only have totems and spells. And uh, <laughs> I've actually won some games that it's pretty fun. But yeah, now we got a golden vitality totem to go with it. That's pretty cool. And with our other rare... And then it's an Iron Sensei, which, uh, or Sensei, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, at the end of your turn, give it another friendly mech, uh, plus two, plus two. Very good, I would suppose, in a uh, mech deck for a rogue. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Golden Vitality Totem. Very, very happy. Let's go back to the classic cards here. Right, there's a lot of classic cards I don't have, especially legendaries. So let's see if we can get some of them here. Uh, we're going to get a common. Oh, our first epic. All right. Our first epic. That's going to be a common. That's going to be a common and a rare. So we get an epic and a rare and three commons. I like it. Earth Shock for the Shaman. 
We get an Argent Squire. I have two Golden Argent Squires, so we're getting rid of that. A Rampage for the Warrior. All right, what's our rare going to be? It's going to be a Vaporize for the Mage. I don't believe I had that. Uh, then again, I don't play a lot of a Mage on this account, so I'm like, I don't know what cards I have for a Mage, but it's a secret. Uh, when a minion attacks is here, destroy it. And here comes our Epic, ladies and gentlemen. What is it going to be? A Brawl for the Warrior, which I... I think I had two of them already. Ah, Warrior is like my most played class. I think you guys know that Warrior is my most played class. Actually, I can show you my most played class. I believe if I go here to quest, right? Yeah, if I go here to quest, see my, my Warrior is level 56. I have a level 33 Warlock, 29 Shaman, 14 Mage, 34 Paladin, 46 Hunter, 13 Priest, and 17 Druid. So obviously I play the Warrior the most. It's almost up to level 60, in fact. So... I have a lot of the warrior cards, <laughs> and oh, oh, I want to get a quest log, and that definitely involves uh, having a couple of brawls, which stinks. That you, know, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be some dust, which I can put towards crafting a legendary, which is pretty cool. Let's open up this goblins versus gnomes pack, ladies and gentlemen. Where are we going to get in here? We're going to get a common. Oh, an epic, an epic, an epic. All right, so we got a common, an epic, and a rare. All right, oh, look at that pack there, ladies and gentlemen. We got two commons right here, a rare, a rare, and an epic. All right, so what are our commons going to be? It's going to be uh, Tinker's Sharp Sword Oil. Very good card for the rogue. I like that card a lot. Uh, another Nobregon Infantry. Uh, let's get the rares out of the way here, I suppose. We're going to get a Grove Tender for the Druid. Not sure if I had that yet, but give each player a Mana Crystal or each player draws a card. Right here is going to be a King of Beasts for the Hunter, which not the greatest card to be perfectly honest. It works well with the beast synergy and stuff, but like unless you have like Unleash the Hounds going out before that, it's kind of hard to get this card to be very, very good. But then again, it's still a 2-6 with Taunt by default, and it's going to be buffed up one way or the other, because chances are if you're a Hunter, you have Beast. But still, it's not the best card in the world, but it's a pretty good, it's pretty decent, I would say. Uh, here's going to be our epic, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm scared. What's the epic going to be? And the Fane Death for the Hunter, where you trigger all Death Rattles on your minions. So how about a Hunter Death Rattle deck with Baron Rivendare and Kelpuzad? Hmm? Hmm? Just pointing out there. I don't know. Uh, Fane Death, it's interesting, but uh, I'm trying to think here. There's not too many Death Rattles by default. Wait a minute. No way. Oh, my goodness. You use that with a Savannah High Main? You get, uh, you get like, the two hyen the, the two, two, two hyenas out of nowhere. You're just like, ah, faint death. Okay, look at these hyenas that are suddenly here. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Some other death rattles that might be in your traditional hunter deck. But I can't think of any off the top of my head. But still, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so where are we at now? So I guess that's not, that was Goblins vs. Gnomes cards. We're going back to Classic. We need to glitch it out here. All right, see that? It's glitching. It's glitching. Oh, yes, yeah, so it doesn't know what to do. It's freaking out. Oh, let's bring it down here. A sneak around the bottom of your screen. Yes. Sneak to the yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, now it's, like it's getting all messed up. All right. Now, I feel I'm feeling some good luck with this one. All right, so we're going to get a rare. We get a common. Get a common. Get a common. Ah, oh, four commons and a rare. Are you kidding me? Unleash the hounds for the hunter. In a rage for the warrior. Uh, deadly shot for the hunter. Uh, eviscerate for the rogue. Lots of spells for different classes here. And our rare is going to be an angry chicken. All right, that might be the most disappointing pack today. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, ladies and gentlemen. If we don't start getting a legendary here, I might have to change the card back. Because changing the card back, of course, gives you better luck, right? But I love the Ragnaros card back. It's so cool looking. But we get a common, a common, a rare, a common. Ah, four commons and a rare. A Druid of the Fang. All right, that's a pretty interesting card for the Druid. Uh, basically, if you have a beast, like uh, which there are some Druid cards that or you can turn in the beasts. And then basically that makes so this would be a 7-7 seven, seven for 5 if you already have a beast on the board, which would be pretty freaking powerful. Uh, Clockwork Gnome, a Goblin Auto Barber, pretty good. I like, I, that's actually good, even though it's a mecha, like, it's good in, like, just normal rogue decks, because it gives your, uh, weapon plus one attack as a battle cry, which is pretty nice. It's also a 3-2 two for 2, which is a pretty decent stat line. Uh, a, a Crackle, again, for the Shaman, that's the third one I think we've gotten in this pack opening video, and an Implosion for the Warlock, either a very hit or miss card, sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it's like, oh, how could, how, how could you only do 2 damage, you, all, all I needed was 3, I need you to do 3, it says 2 to 4, I needed 3 or 4, and you gave me too. You know, <laughs> it really, it's really hit or miss, but it's still a fun card regardless. And let's see what we get here. Four commons in a rare, ladies and gentlemen. Iron Beak Owl, great card. Great card just to keep in your hand and just have it sit there. Just wait for that big scary thing to come out and you'd be like, haha, silenced. <laughs> All right, Ancient Brewmaster. Uh, an Earth Shock for the Shaman. The Battle Rage for the Warrior. That's like, no, I'm thinking of Inner Rage. Never mind. 
I was going to say, it's like the third or fourth one of those we've gotten so far, but it isn't. And now, now Door Peacekeeper. Very good card for the Paladin. I like that card a lot. Three for three, three for three, which is pretty decent. And But the Valkyrie change means attack to one is great. You know, they put out a big scary creature or they get something out there. You change the attack to one and you also get a three, three body out there for three mana. It's pretty good. I like that card a lot. All right. This is going to be our fifth Goblins versus Gnomes card. We're, we're halfway done after this pack, ladies and gentlemen. Dun 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 oh, Why are you going to do me like that? Dark Bomb for the Warlock. Uh, Whirling Zapomatic. Great card for the Shaman. I like that card a lot. Anoyotron. Very annoying card. Spire Tank. Very underrated in my opinion. When a Spire Tank comes out, it's like, oh man, that thing is actually... It's kind of annoying to get rid of. <laughs> it's a 3-4 for 3, which is just a very good stat line. It's a good card, I think. And a Scarlet Purifier. I actually have a Golden Scarlet Purifier, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool battle cry. Uh, deal two damage to all minions with Death Rattle. It's pretty interesting. Keep in mind that includes your minions, so it's pretty interesting. All right, so we're down to five here. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do I go to options here? Do I change this card back? We can go with the Cupcake. We could go with Ninjas. I need to change the card back to something. Do I go for the pre-order for the Blackrock Mountain Adventure? Do I go with that card back? What card back do we go with here? We need something for a little bit of luck. We need a little bit of luck here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I have a lot of card backs. We are going to go, I think, ladies and gentlemen, with Hollow's End. All right, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with Hollow's End. It's really cool looking, and hopefully that's going to get us the luck we need. All right, so let's go. We got glitches out of it. We got to get a bunch of that, uh, that, that, that pixely dust all around here. Yes, get all that dust around. All right. Dun, 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 dun. This card back is so cool looking. Alright. We get common. Common. And a rare. And a common. Oh my goodness! Ooh, but we got a golden one. A golden circle of healing. Refor or restore four health to all minions, which is if you put like an Alcanine Soul Priest out, which we got earlier today, then you throw out that thing, suddenly you have a really powerful Hellfire. Pretty cool. And we're gonna get a Jungle Panther. You're gonna get an Explosive Trapper, a Hunter, and a Viscerate for a Rogue. And a master spell for the priest. All right, getting some priest cards here. All right, well, that first pack wasn't pr it was pretty underwhelming. Pretty underwhelming, not going to lie. All right, oh, there we go. That's what I like to see, getting the epics out. That is what I like to see, ladies and gentlemen. So, an epic, a rare, a common. Oh, two epics in one pack, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I knew switching this card back was the right idea. All right, Cobra Shot for the Hunter. Deal three damage to a minion and the enemy hero. That's five mana, man. I'm not so keen on that. And Mech Warper, very good card. Uh, let's get our rare out of the way here. A rare is going to be a Mech Bear Cat, which I've never seen this card before. It's a 7-6 seven, six for six. Uh, whenever this minion takes damage, add a spare part to your hand. Wow. Really? That's a pretty cool card. I'm not going to lie. The 7-6 is decent stats, too. A 6-7 would be better, of course, because that'd make it just like a Flutter Fist Ogre. But, uh, yeah, that's an interesting card. I'm not going to lie. It's a very interesting card. All right, so we get two epics. First one's going to be a Tree of Life for the Druid. Restore all characters to full health. It's a crazy card. All right, so literally that incre like that takes both heroes health puts it back to 30 and every minion on the board takes all of their health and puts it all the way back up it's a weird card but then but then if you somehow have that card and you have like an alchemist soul priest if you're a druid that somehow has an alchemist soul priest it will kill everything including both heroes i'm pretty sure it means since you're the one that did it it makes it so you lose i i don't know but it's pretty interesting it's a crazy card and Ladies and gentlemen, a mini mage for all classes. <laughs> a mini mage. <laughs> I've never even seen this card. Uh, it's, it's a four one, which is terrible. With for four, which is again terrible, but it also has stealth, which means you can use it. Uh, you can put it out there, and you can let it sit there, and it's gonna, you know, you can attack somebody randomly with it. Uh, basically, just put it on the board and wait for him to throw out something, then kill it. But it's also gonna give you spell damage plus one. Which is pretty good, I suppose. But the thing about it is, that, you know, things like Whirlwind, any kind of AoE could probably kill it because it has one health. But still, it's an evil card. I'm happy. I didn't have that card before. I'm always happy to get new cards, especially when it's an epic. All right. Back to the classic cards here. Where are we going to get? Where are we going to get? All right. We get a rare there. Ah, four commons and a rare. How are you going to do me like that? Another Spellbreaker. Another Blood Imp. That's the third one today. Uh, another Blood Sail Raider. I think that was the first card that we opened today. Uh, another Explosive Trap. And... Our rare is going to be a lava burst, which for the shaman, which I believe I actually only had one of those. That's pretty cool. Now I have two. Now I have two of two. I like it. All right. Dun, 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 dun. We gotta get. We gotta get the pixie dust there. Yes, we need pixie dust. 
There we are. Now. Oh, oop, oop, we get a rare there. Common, common, common. Ah, four commons that are rare. You get to do me like that. Snow Chugger. I hate that card so much when I face a mage. Oh, it's so annoying. It keeps freezing my hero, so I can't remove it with, like, uh, if I'm playing my warrior, I can't remove it with, like, a weapon or anything like that, because it freezes me every time it attacks it, so I can't attack with my axe. Oh, it's so annoying. The Salty Dog, funny cards, little gnome pirate, 7-4 for 5. Uh, but it could potentially be good if they don't have a way to remove it, but it's just not a card I use very much. Goblin, oh, Barber, great. Tinker Town Technician, great. And muster for battle for the paladin. I believe I actually only had one of these. Now that I have two, for the abbey. Now that I have two, I'm pretty happy. Because you put that in there with the true silver champion. Um, no, not, not, not the true silver champion. Uh, Sword of Justice or something like that, I believe it is. Where basically it's a weapon where you throw it out and anytime you summon somebody, it gives it plus one, plus one. So that, that'll that make it so uh, you put out the th that weapon, then you throw out this, then all of your silver hand recruits will become two twos, and then it's going to replace your weapon with a one four weapon. But uh, yeah, there, there's plays to be had with that. And of course, if you get the Quartermaster, which is another Paladin card, which gives all of your silver hand recruits plus two, plus two, suddenly you have a very scary board. Uh, what we got here? Da, 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 da. It's gonna be a common, a common, a common, a rare, and a common. Come on! You guys gonna be like that? They're doing me like this. I can't believe it. Iron Beak Owl, another Blood Imp. That's a freaking fourth Blood Imp. Uh, <laughs> a youthful Brewmaster, a Fen Creeper, and ladies and gentlemen, an Emperor Cobra. All right, Emperor Cobra's not bad, but I already had every one of these cards. So that's really kind of disappointing. All right. There's so many good legendaries I don't have for the classic set. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, why can't I just get one? We gotta get a legendary here, guys. We got four packs left after this, so we have five, can counting this one. We're gonna start off with a common. A common. Oh, an epic! And a rare, and a common. Alright, so we get an epic. Ogre Brute. Love that card. I really do. Ogre Brute is awesome. I love that card. Uh, Seal of Light. Restore four health to your hero. We gain plus two attack this turn. Uh, we're going to get another Anoyotron. Let's grab our rare here. It's going to be another Iron Sensei. Sensei? 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 I don't know. If, I, I, I get yelled at for not knowing how to pronounce that. Sensei, I want to call it. And here is going to be our epic, ladies and gentlemen. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to be a Bouncy Blade for the Warrior. That's actually pretty cool. I might actually use that. So it's a weird card. So deal one damage to a random minion. Repeat until a minion dies so basically it is it can work very well with something like the throttling berserker it's it's also very good with i guess really just the throttling berserker it's basically gonna kill it's gonna kill a random minion but it's gonna do one damage individually so for example if you have stuff like the uh, like the armor smith out right and it's, it's and somebody that's on your side of the board ends up getting hit by this thing it, it's gonna get hit once then you're gonna gain some armor then it's gonna get hit again then you're gonna gain some armor and then it's gonna get hit again you're gonna gain some armor until it actually kill ends up killing the minion it's a pretty weird card pretty unique card and i'm pretty happy to have it because as somebody that plays a lot of warrior I'm happy to try it out. Happy to play around with it. So that's awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, so we got four packs left, ladies and gentlemen. We've gotten a bunch of cool epics, but no legendary, guys. Where is our legendary? So here we go. We've got a common, a rare, a common, a common. Oh, you got to do it with the four commons and the rare. Maybe I shouldn't have went with this card back. I don't know. Mana Worm. Uh, we get a Thought Steal for the Priest. Fun card. Just a fun card to use in general. Uh, the Light Spawn. The Wrath for the Druid. And... Our rare is going to be a Crazed Alchemist, which is Valkyrie is going to swap the attack and health of a minion. 2-2 two, two for 2. Hmm. Not too happy about that, ladies and gentlemen. we got three packs to go, including this one. Are we going to get a Legendary in this video? I believe we got Hogger in our last video, which is super disappointing. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got Hogger in my last video, I believe, which was disappointing because I already had a Hogger. But ladies and gentlemen, there is a Legendary, and it's sitting right there. What are we going to get? So... First and foremost, we're going to get the Ogre War Maul. I actually have a golden one of these. Only one golden one. But uh, it's basically an Ogre weapon. It's going to be a 4-2, which has a 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy, which is pretty fun. Uh, let's grab our other common here. It's going to be an Antique Heal Bot. And let's grab this common here. It's going to be another Ogre Brute. Love that card. Here's going to be our rare. It's going to be a Call Pet. And ladies and gentlemen, our legendary. Now this is a Goblins vs. Gnomes legendary card. I don't have a lot of these. If so, help me. So help me if this is Dr. Boom. I have Dr. Boom already. I crafted Dr. Boom. No, I didn't. Actually, I got Dr. Boom from a pack. So I have Dr. Boom. I believe that's the only Goblins vs. Gnomes legendary I have, aside from, like, 
uh, some of the class legendaries like the Iron Juggernaut and uh, Bobar Four Dragon. So, uh, here's the hoping. Trade Prince Gallywix. All right, I'll take it. It's for the rogue. I'll take it. <laughs> it's it's not even the greatest card in the world, but it's pretty cool. So Trade Prince or Trade Prince Gallywix is going to be a five eight for six. Pretty good stats in my opinion. And whenever your opponent casts a spell, gain a copy of that spell and give them a coin. So I'm not even sure what that coin's going to be, but we're going to be able to take their spells and we're giving them a coin. I think the coin gives the creature plus one plus one. I could be wrong about that, but yes, I think it's a cool card. It's a goblin. I like it. It's. Uh... <laughs> I'm happy with it. Of course, I the best case scenario is if you get like a, a neutral legendary, so you can use it in all, all your decks and stuff. But this is the first legendary I've ever gotten for the rogue. I've been trying to play the rogue a little bit more, so that's pretty awesome. Pretty happy about that. All right, so we did get our legendary today, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping, I was hoping we'd get a legendary. I was hoping we get another one here. We got two packs left to go, and we're gonna start things off with a rare. Ah, uh, you guys gonna do me like that with the four commons and a rare with my, for my last normal pack? All right, so we get a Silver Moon Guardian, a Worgen Infiltrator, a Spiteful Smith, and Explosive Trap for the Hunter. And then the last card is going to be da -da -da -da, a Siphon Soul for the Warlock. I'm not even sure if I had two of these, or even if I had one. So that's pretty good. And the final pack, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be this. All right, so we're going to get two rares and three commons. Let's get our three commons. A snow chugger. Uh, two snow chuggers. So that's like the third one we've gotten today. A dark bomb for the warlock. Decent card overall. And we're going to be getting a mistress of pain for the warlock. Uh, whenever this minion deals damage, restore that much health to your hero. Potentially very good. Ooh, and a golden Mistress of Pain. Okay, so we get two Snow Chuggers and two Mistress of Pains, one of them being golden. And our final pack. So the final card we get today is going to be a golden card for the Warlock. Ladies and gentlefish, that is going to be today's pack opening video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Now what we're going to do here is like we usually do, go here into my collection. And then from there, we go to crafting mode. And from there, we disenchant our extra cards because we need to. 66 of those cards I got today were, were extras. And one epic was an extra, apparently. Uh, I don't remember that being an extra. I don't remember which one it might be, but uh, 16 rares are going to be extras. So we're going to 750 dust. Of course, it takes 1600 dust to be able to craft a legendary, but if I really wanted to craft a legendary, you know, there's lots of things I can get rid of. For example, I need to get rid of this Argent Squire because I have two golden ones. So we need to go ahead and just get rid of this for five dust because there's no point in having a regular Argent Squire when I have two golden ones. And, you know, things like that. Just occasionally just go through your uh, cards and make sure with your, whenever you get a golden card, that you're getting rid of at least one of your normal ones. See, you know, see, I got a golden Gilvan Stalker, so I only have one regular Gilvan Stalker because it was kind of pointless to have two if I already have a golden one. Uh, speaking of that, let's go to the Warlock here. And goodness gracious, all the blood imps we got today. But see here, I got a golden Mistress of Pain and two regular ones. We don't need two regular ones if I have a golden one. So we get rid of one of the regular ones. Her sister is a mistress of pain who sells windows and shower doors. <laughs> All right. By the way, if you haven't checked out like the flavor text on a lot of these cards, they're usually pretty freaking awesome. Demon fire is like regular fire, except it never stops burning help. <laughs> Oh, uh, they've they, they have really cool flavor text on a lot of these cards. And if you haven't checked them out, highly recommend that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the thing about it is though, it's like, like default cards like that you get just by leveling up a class like the Dread Infernal. Like you get two golden Dread Infernals just by leveling up your warlock, but you can't get rid of your old regular Dread Infernals because they're soul bound. Ah, that stinks. Well, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a ring where you guys feel be deserves. Of course, actually, real quick though, real quick, real quick everybody just real quick like uh let's go over to the rogue and da -da 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 Yes, now I have two sprint. Now I got trade Prince Gallywix. Gallywix believes in supply and demand. He supplies the beatings and demands you pay up. <laughs> That's so cool, man. New legendary. Of course, you got the ogre ninjas in there as well. I think I could have some fun with the rogue deck here. Uh, playing around here. But regardless, ladies and gentlemen, once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to be ring where guys feel be deserves. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.